hope that it's an exciting one. Right, ready to go here. Uh, the Vivekanand Yuva Bharti Krirangan should be an exciting game of football, particularly as the Arrows might have drawn confidence from their previous game. And the same intent and desire in sport. Now they're first in the game. Space on the right. Here they come now. Oh, that's good skill, but good tracking back as well from Amandeep. It's nicely done by Nikhil Kando to get it out. But in it comes again. First shot of the game from distance. It's a decent attempt. Not on target though. It all really is stemming from the Indian Arrows' mistakes at the back. Fezal Ali. Oh, looking to catch the goalkeeper off guard. Not sure if that was meant as a cross. But uh, the goalkeeper was well positioned even if that had been on target. He wasn't off his line. Now he's got Gurpanjit ahead of him. Gets it back. Fezal might open up here. And now a chance. Well blocked there. John Chidi was ready and he had actually pulled the trigger. He was jolted. Mondal. The long throw in and... Oh, kisses the post and out. Wow. I wasn't sure if Ahan was expecting that. Somehow the replay will tell us better, but uh, the goalkeeper didn't quite look ready for that. And the ball came in, but... Uh, well, uh, ball is coming, but Ahan comes for it and spills it, but... Again, lucky to get it straight into his gloves again. A free kick dipped into a dangerous area. Han decided to come for it, but just he fancies himself in taking on Manoj. And Manoj did clip the referee. He decided to keep his card in his pocket. I'm not sure if that warranted one anyway. It comes, it's a direct one at goal, and might be the opening goal. Has it gone in? I think it has. It's 1 0 to the Arrows. Wow, would you believe it? The Arrows have taken the lead here at the Vivekanand Yuba Bharti Krirangan and you can see the delight on the players' faces as well as Sean Mugun Venkatesh. It's just calming things down but you have to say that they have deserved this. And they have knocked on Mohammedan's door a few times already and they've got the goal that they deserve. Indian Arrows won Mohammedan Sporting nil. And here it is. It was a venomous free kick which bounced just in front of Shubham, which made it even more difficult for the goalkeeper to grasp onto it. But by the time it was cleared by Ashir Akhtar, the ball was already into the net. But while the replay is still on, come Mohammed Sporting. And there it is. As you can see, it's Gurpanjit. It could be a chance for. And the arrows, uh, a really ambitious effort on that occasion by Wellington, who was looking to get his second goal in two games, but and just lacked support. He had to hold it there, Wellington. He's still with it. Nikhil Kadam with the ball in. Almost. A fantastic opportunity for Mohammedan Sporting to get themselves on level terms. Was. Shilt in the silver. I think he just missed his header, did he? It was uh, Feza who missed his header. By the time it went to Shilt, Kani, long range effort. Not troubling Ahan. And decent strike, though. Comes the cross and sails over the bar. I think Kahan had it covered. Ball was dipped in. But it dipped over the bar. 
Mawson. In it comes again. A shot comes in as well. Good save from Mahan at the near post. And there's the shot by Ghani. A miss kick there. What a chance that was. It's still fallen to Ruth Fella. And now and the skipper tries his luck from distance. Fell kindly indeed for Gur Simrat. Had a crack pawn and perhaps convey to Mohammedan Sporting, who have been for the Indian Arrows. But pretty much even Steve. It's a weak ball from Amandeep on the overlap now. Is Faisal Ali. He spotted a run in the centre. Straight into the hands of Ahan. It was a good spot by Faisal Ali. He's chosen to go for Hira Mundal instead. Ball in. Falls to on the feet of Ghani. Might get another chance to get the ball in. And the header was from Shilton again. Who couldn't get the header on target. Just couldn't get the right connection. Again, Paul comes in. And John Chidi got better contact on the ball this time, but not enough to get it on target and get it past the goalkeeper. Always a difficult one. Was B. Mundal. Another ball in. And now this could be the chance. What a save. Ahan yet again. Here it was. Header by Sajid. It was Feza rather. Nikhil Kadam in some space and now look at the space here for Hira Mondal who takes a strike and again would you believe it Ahan is there to meet it at the near post Hira Mondal can't believe it he had the goal gaping in front of him there but it also hit the post a good save nonetheless from Ahan was a looped ball into the box. Fez Alale skipping away from a couple of challenges. How pressure here. Nicely done by Fez Alale. Box still might be alive here for Mohammedan. Ahan was quick to come in and, and grasp it before Sanjeev. Lovely ball. In it comes and this could be the second goal. Oh my word. For a second there I thought it was in. Arthik and Shubham and did get a palm onto it. But couldn't keep hold of it. Oh what a let off. For Mohammedan Sporting. A strong header out by Gurpanjit. And on the turn here was... John Chidi, and I tell you what, the clearance came off an Indian Arrows man last. Oh, well, that could have gone anywhere. She does on the right. He's been menacing with his balls in. This time takes a shot on himself. And Ahan is there again. To gobble it up. What a ball that is towards Mondal and that would have been some goal. Sanjeev Ghosh off the bench. What an impact that would have made. Always a difficult chance. I was looking to take it first time. At this time goes inside, takes a shot on. He is looking to do it all by himself here, Hira Mundal. Towards Tyson, took a tad too long on the ball. Oh, wow. That would have been some goal. So he cut in on his right. That wasn't very far off at all. Just got stuck under his feet. 
but uh, that pin on target the referee was the goalkeeper was well and truly beaten of indian football and the arrows have come up from here a first half goal from gurpanjit singh session didn't really matter although